Hey folks, it's William with All Solar Texas here with some great news for you. For the first time in two years, we've seen the cost of solar slightly start to come down, which is going to result in huge savings for you if you're looking to go solar this year. Stay tuned and I'll break it down for you in this video. All right, thank you so much for joining the channel. If you've been following the channel long, then you'll know that you know the price of solar has really been going up over the last two years. And what's been driving that has been primarily inflation. We've seen record high inflation starting in 2022. We still have uh, high rates of inflation even this year, although it's not as high as last year. So that's been driving the overall cost of going solar up making it very unreachable for many customers that would have otherwise decided to go solar already. Secondly, we have the Fed with their constant rate increases, which have resulted in loan companies, if you're choosing to finance solar, to raise their fees and raise their interest rates, which has even more increased the cost of going solar. But now we have some light at the end of the tunnel. We have a little silver lining here. What's going on is installers are not selling as many systems, so they're not installing as much. And so what's going on is they're not able to really operate their business so they've had to downsize or in some cases go out of business altogether. We've seen several cases of companies just going out of business because they were over leveraged, they had too much debt and they weren't able to support their operation. So they're just closing down because their sales aren't supporting uh, their projections for running their business and their revenue targets. Also, we see suppliers, which are those companies that supply the materials, the inverters, the cables, the wiring, the solar panels. They're now having to be pressed to be more competitive in this market to maintain their revenue and their targets for the year in all of the different solar markets that they're operating in. So they're starting to be more competitive and drive costs down. So they're offering the same product at now a lower price to installers, hoping that they can continue to encourage sales and keep their revenue and their targets up as well. We also see new suppliers coming into the, in, into the market. So with more suppliers coming into the market, we also have more competition, which helps to further drive down costs. So just for an example, on Enphase IQ8 microinverters or on Ginkgo panels, Aptos panels, even Mission solar panels, we're seeing costs come down. These same products are now cost 5, 10, 15 cents per watt less than what they did two years ago when we were purchasing these items, which results in substantial cost savings to you, the customer, as that's part of the overall install cost. Secondly, what we're seeing is new manufacturers coming into this space. New companies are betting on solar and renewable energy. So you have Duracell that just came out with a microinverter that's very competitive. It's on par with the Enphase microinverter. Some of these other larger name brands like your Tesla, your, your Enphase, your Generac, they've had these budgets that are just getting larger because they're doing more marketing. They're trying to develop new products. And so some of these products that have been in the market for a long time, they're starting to raise the price of that product so that they could fund those other endeavors. Well, what's happening at the same time is new manufacturers are coming into the space. They're competing for market share with those product items and they're driving the cost down. So as long as you're open-minded and you don't mind looking at a different type of inverter or a new inverter that's just come onto the market, even though these inverters have very similar specs, very similar warranties, very similar performance, you may be put off just because you've never heard of it before. But I would definitely encourage you to ask more questions. Look at the spec sheets, look at the data sheets. If you're uh, working with a solar professional and you're trying to get in a design configured, don't just accept the first proposal that they have. Oftentimes these solar reps are going to give you standard equipment with name brands that have been a while, uh, been in the market a while just to give you that level of confidence. But if you're really looking to save money, then those items may be out of reach because of those continued price increases. So it may be worth the while to just ask, are there different options? Are there cheaper microinverters that could be used? Are there other types of panels that you have that we could put into this proposal just to see what that does to the cost. We're not talking about lower quality, we're talking about lower price. Many of these different components with uh, the new Duracell micro inverters, you have the AP system micro inverters, you have other um, uh, solar panels coming onto the market like the Eureka panels, uh, the M solar panels. These are very on par with the data sheets um, comparing apples to apples with some of these other more familiar brands. 
Also, continue to uh, look into cash. If you can pay for a system in cash, then you avoid those financing fees and the increased uh, cost of solar altogether. If you could put substantial amounts of cash down, $5,000, $10,000, then that just offsets those additional fees that you would have to pay if you're still choosing the finance. So there's still some opportunity to save money. There's still some opportunity to capture some cost savings with some of these new suppliers and some of these new manufacturers coming into the space. All right, that about wraps it up for today. I just wanted to share some good news with what we're seeing in the industry. If you uh, like this content, if you're getting some value, please subscribe. That really helps us grow and build our channel. And lastly, if you're in the market and, and you're in Texas and you just want a fair deal and you want to explore what are some of these other options, please reach out to us. Email us, call us, check out our website. We're here for you. We respond quickly and we can't wait to talk to you. Thank you so much and God bless. Thank you.